Hi everyone, today I'm going to be going through uh, how to draw graphs, especially for the O levels. And so by the end of this video, you should be able to not just draw a graph and know what is the right thing to do, but you should also be able to evaluate and analyze your own graph to make sure that your graph is definitely uh, up to standard. So let's jump right in. This is the a recent practical that we've done. And we want to graph the graph of t squared against h. And so when we say t squared against, against h, it means that t squared basically goes on the y-axis against h. So h goes on the x-axis. And so let's look at our graph. Okay, The first thing that you notice is the axes. Right? The axis actually you want it to draw on the boundary. Do not draw like your y and x axis here and here. Don't. Use up the whole space. Draw it on the last line and draw it on the leftmost line. Yep, that's the first thing that you want. And then, where do we go from there? And then we now fill in the axis. So y axis, I have t square against. Uh, t square slash s square this means the slash means uh, with units off so this is t square with units off second square and then over here i have my height h units meters or m good the next step that we want to do is to find an uh, an appropriate scale and that is exactly what the S in SPLAT stands for. SPLAT is basically an acronym that you use to know and evaluate your graph. So scale. How do you pick an appropriate scale? We basically want it to be a good scale such that uh, your eventual graph will take up about 75% of the whole graph paper. Okay? This is what you want. 75% of the whole graph paper. And uh, as I showed you some of you guys in class, um, don't just pick any odd scale. Uh, next thing, how much is 2cm? So if, if you look at your uh, graph paper, right? 2cm is basically one big square. So this much is 2cm. This 1cm, 1cm. So 2cm. All right. So right now, let us first try to pick an appropriate scale for the t square axis on the, the y axis. And so we look uh, t square, we need our values to go from at least 1.56 all the way up to 4.28. Now we don't like all these weird numbers, so I'm going to say we need to encapsulate the, the whole range, right? So I'm going to say let's try, let's go from 1.5 to 4.5. So if our scale can go from 1.5 all the way up to 4.5, then we will definitely be able to capture all the points. So, so what do we do? We try, let's try, we say 4.5 minus 1.5 equals to 3, right? And then we say, okay, I need 3, and it needs to span the whole range, and how many uh, 2 cm squares do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 of them. So what I can try to do is I say 3 divided by 12 equals to 0 0.25. Oh, that is a nice number. If you go and look in that case, we can say we want to use 0 0.25 to go from 1.5 to 4.5. So we start here. 1.5 and then we go with 0 0.25 each time so 1.75 2.00 and so on and so forth and so I've done it you can see I've labeled um, the t square axis from 1.5 to 4.5 and yeah it all fits in it looks good my first point uh, will be going somewhere uh, 1.56 so somewhere be, be somewhere here my last point is just let you see my last point will be uh, 4.28 so it'll be somewhere here Yo, this definitely will spend more than 75 percent of the graph paper so i'm good now i need to find an appropriate scale for the h axis horizontal axis 
Um, so they will also take up about maybe 75% of the graph paper. So we see that we go from 0 0.3 to 0 0.970. I, I don't really like this number. Um, it's a bit not very nice. So let's just say we'll go from 0 0.3 to 1.0. And we can try it out. This one's a bit more straightforward. So if we try it out and we say we go from, let's say, 0 0.3. Then this will be 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1.0, .0, right? And so my 0 0.970 point will be somewhere here. Yeah, I think I think this is good enough. Okay, so so let me just go ahead and do that. And we are done. You can see that I've labeled um, the t square axis and the h axis. Um, and something I must tell you to note: we label. Where do we label? We label at every 2cm mark. You must label at every 2cm mark all the way. Do not skip any. Label every single one. Alright? Yep. So, now let's move on to the next thing. After scale, we have point. This one actually is what you've learned from math. Uh, just read off the table and go ahead and plot the points. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, of course, for points, we are looking for accurate plotting. Accurate plotting. Alright, let me plot the points. And here we go. I have plotted the points. Um, now, if you have trouble plotting the points, especially if you are saying, I'm not very sure how many boxes to count, uh, please come and find me separately. I think it would be a bit complicated to go through this uh, on recording. But one thing I want you to note, when we plot the points, just go for clean axis. Do not do dots, do not do anything else. Just go for a clean X, do not shade. Can you see? There's a clean X, not too big, uh, not too small, just about, about the size that you see. And so that overall, it looks like this. There we go, there it is, points. Now, the next thing that we're going to look at is line. Now we're looking for a best fit line. Um, and how do we draw a best fit line? Let me elaborate for a best fit line. Um, we basically want to have two things. Number one, you want to have equal number of points above and below line. Okay, but you can have maybe plus minus one, right? Um, but not more than that. So if you have three points below, uh, b three points below, uh, you have three points on top, or two points, or four points. Number two, you want to have a line as close to points as possible. So let me just give you some uh, examples to elaborate. So. Let's say I have points like this. Okay, I can draw a line like this, right? Now I have, I have two points below and two points on top. Isn't this fine? Uh, but no, you're not as close to the points as possible. So what we're looking for is something maybe more like this. Of course, you should use a ruler. Yeah, so now you have two points on top, two points below. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, another example is maybe you have, let's say you have five points. And, and let's say you cut through some points. This is also okay. So let's say you cut through this point, and then you have, uh, okay, actually this is not very well done. Just for a rough illustration. Let's say you, let's say I cut through this point, right? So number of points above, I have one. I have two, number of points below, one, two. This is also fine, right? As long as you uh, follow these two rules that I've stated, you should be good. Use a ruler, you need to get a long ruler. Do not use a short ruler and measure twice, okay? Use a one long ruler, draw it once. And, and so now that we've come back here, I'm gonna use my ruler, I'm gonna try to draw a best fit line. All right, and we're going to follow those two rules. Those two rules are the main things uh, that will guide your drawing of the line. So let me draw the line now. And there you have it. I have my best fit line. You can see that I have cut through this point over here. 
I have one point, two points on top, one point and two points below. So that's fine. Yeah. Uh, of course, if I, once again, if I had three points on top, two points below, it's a difference of one, that is also okay. That is also fine. So we're done with the line. The final thing, and actually, um, this should have gone ahead. So actually, this is axis. So we're looking for correct uh, labeling. Yeah, and we're looking for correct, uh, correct units as well. So actually, I really did this at the start. Yeah. Finally, we're looking for something called the title. Title is really easy. You just say um, graph of whatever against whatever. So in this case, it will be graph of t square slash s square against h slash m. So let me go ahead and write that. In this case, this will be, just write it here, graph of t square s square against uh, h slash m. Done. Of course, you can draw a line to underline it. And there you go. These are the main steps that you need to draw a good graph. Actually, oops, we actually have this, right? Sorry, I don't know what this is doing here. But we actually have this. Any number on this table will work for 2CM. So 2CM equals to how many units? You can say that, okay, 2CM equals to 1 unit. Or you can say 2CM equals to 0 0.25 units. Any one will work. Uh, just pick the right one for your graph so that it will take up 75% of your graph paper. At, uh, over here, ah, we have 0 0.25 right here, right in the middle, right? Right here. So that's good.